back to another Esler Jamil video and today we are finally doing it we are installing the Renegade short throw kit I've had I had to wait months for this and I've also had it for months so we got the uh, high temp grease here we also have the uh, shift boot delete I'm not sure if we'll install that today because I'm not sure if we have time and we might not have time because not only are we installing this but we're also washing this thing look at it it is filthy so obviously this is New England it is pollen season so the whole car is covered in pollen. And then we'll go ahead and install that uh, short throw kit. Got the power washer here because my hose does not reach. Got Letty Girl here. Letty Girl, are you relaxing? Got the wife there with Ghost hanging out. Look at her. Look at that wiggle butt. I hope did not just film me. <laughs> I did a little bit. Look at that little nub. <laughs> got some flowers here because we got to plant those. But anyway, I'm going to throw you guys on the um, head strap. We will wash this thing real quick. Yeah, there it is. Oh, get this out of here. Also got a new shift knob from Renegade. So we will have a new shift knob and a new short throw kit. I'm kind of excited for it because that thing's gonna be sick. So now let's hose this thing down. So this thing went from being a greenish yellow to Suzuka blue again. Alright guys, and the car is washed and dry. Ended up using this uh, perfect shine. So while it's wet, spray this on, dry it down. Look at this thing, it looks brand new. It's beautiful. Turkeys. So let's get right into it. We got to get rid of this. If you guys want some uh, cards and you run into me out there, ask. And if I got some, I will hand them out. Now, if you guys don't know, the S2000 console just popped right up. They are really easy to remove. And there we go guys, so really easy. So all you gotta do is take out these two connections. They go right here. The whole thing pops up. Again, just little tabs that hold it in place. All right guys, threw back the knob because this is stuck. We're gonna miss this. So everybody knows that the S2000 has an awesome transmission. It's got nice short throws. It's nice and loud. I do have the Renegade brass um, little washer piece on this but nice and short sounds good so I'm not gonna do uh, how to because there's a ton of videos on how to take these out so I'm just gonna run through it and uh, I'll speed it up so you guys don't have to suffer with me and uh, then we'll take this one out we'll put the new one in sliced my finger right up so yeah be careful because look at that just sliced my finger up on that let's uh get that cleaned up and head back to that oh that thing burned so threw some gloves on 
just so that I don't get a bunch of crap all over my finger and also we're gonna have to grease the uh, new knob so the new short throw kit so we also don't want to get a bunch of grease all over my fingers so now we just got to take out these three 10 millimeter bolts Good thing Honda made a little pocket here to put all the bolts on. And now I'm not sure if the camera caught it, but this whole thing lifted up, actually ended up coming up. So now just gently pull the whole thing out. And there we go. So here is the kit. We're also gonna grab the spring a closer look so here's the Honda S2000 shifter and as you can see I did replace the uh, plastic little uh, washer with this Renegade one I think the new kit comes with a new one so if anybody wants this one I'll uh, have it for sale if you're local hit me up but yeah let's clean these parts I probably should have replaced uh, this piece too but this car only has 43,000 miles so I think we'll be okay so let's clean this up. We'll swap it to the other one and then we'll re-grease everything. Which actually, I don't even think I'm going to use this one with the Renegade kit. Let's go take a look. Wop! This thing is gorgeous. I don't even think I have opened this yet. Nope, still sealed. See, so still sealed in here. So yeah, it came with the new uh, brass shifter bushing. So yeah, if anybody wants my old one, let me know. And uh, I'll sell it cheap. And also this piece here. And we got the new knob. So we'll save this for the end. Look at this thing. This thing is gorgeous. So yeah, I don't even think we're gonna end up using this piece from the old one because I'm pretty sure that this replaces that so we got the stock short throw for the S2000 we got the Renegade one so they also gave us this little packet of uh, lube, but that is why I bought the Honda grease, because we're going to use that. And now I thought that we were going to have to remove this and use it, but we actually don't have to. So you just grab this, take it out of the old one, put it aside. You can put that away. You don't need it anymore. Now the new one. So the way that this works is this says this side up. So, and there's also a little groove somewhere. So this little groove here, this will go here. So this goes like that. And then this piece where it says top, this will go this way. And the bolts line up. And then we're gonna install this whole thing on the car. And it also comes with new longer bolts. But before we do all that, we need to grease everything. So let's grab the Honda grease. Don't be cheap with it. We're going to spread this everywhere and then we're going to put it together and throw it in the car. May have gone a little crazy with the grease, but again, I kind of just bought this grease for this sole purpose. So again, don't be cheap with it. So also don't forget to grease up the new, the old spring. Or again, I could probably have replaced the spring, but again, the car still has low mileage, so I think we will be okay. Spring is gonna go back in, but before we do that, let's put a little bit of grease in there. 
just some fresh grease to line up the sidewall. So again, this piece this way. This piece goes this way. And now we got the new bolts, so let's go put this bad boy in. Okay, so you're gonna have to mess around with this to try to get in there but once you do you feel it go right in place and then you just have to press down on the whole thing to compress that spring and put the new bolts in okay let's snug down the bolts now I'm trying to do them evenly Let me tell you, this looks sick. <sighs> now, should I try this thing? I'm not even sure if it's in gear right now or if it's in neutral. I think it might be in gear. So let's just jump on the driver's seat and take a quick look. Make sure everything works before we put everything back together. Okay, before I try it, we will use the Chasing J shift knob for now. Which, this shift knob would also look very nice on it. All right, guys, moment of truth. I'm gonna throw this on my face, see how. All right, yeah, there we go. All right, here we go. Clutch in. Oh my God, holy crap. Jesus, look at this thing. It's like, this is neutral. First, second. Oh my God. This thing is super notchy. And do you hear that? Wow. <laughs> that is awesome. That is ridiculous. Let's run, let's run through all the gears. One, two, three, four, five, six. What? That is insane. Reverse. <gasps> that is ridiculous. Everything is nice and lubed, as you can see. Wow. Holy. This thing barely moves. First, second. So third, I can just slap it. Fourth. Fifth. I can probably slap it. I think that was fifth. I'm not even sure anymore. What? We gotta go for a test drive. We gotta go for a test drive. Look at this thing! <laughs> it is insane. I think it was money well spent. But just that noise and the way it looks. Oh. This thing is sick. All right, let's put the console back in and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so there is the new knob. Look at this thing. What? This thing is sick. So if you actually end up looking at it quick, it looks like it's almost a whole piece of... Uh, Looks like it's all one piece. So that's why I kind of want to remove the uh, boot so that you can see all the goodness. Also, don't forget to put the um, that stock boot on top of this. And also, make sure you plug these in because I forgot to plug them in. I had to take it back out and plug them in. So yeah, but look at this thing. It looks killer. But guys, we got to go. I still got to take a shower. I am a freaking hot mess. I still got to put all this stuff away. <sighs> We're in trouble. Look at this thing. Nice and clean. Looks like another another car because before it was green instead of blue 
So yes, yeah, nice and clean. Oh, another shot. That looks sick. But I gotta go, guys. So if I don't see you guys, if this video ends now, take it easy. And all right, guys. I was gonna let you guys go, but we gotta do a drive with the new shift, short throw shift to can start. And look at this. I got. I even have my Renegade shirt. So I have the T-shirt, but I can't find it. So I got the long sleeve. Took a shower, looking fresh. The uh, wife bit my style with the camo shoes, but she's also looking fresh, and we're ready to go. I'm gonna put the top down, I hope that you know that. My hair! And uh, let's get your first impression of the... Hold on, honey, let me open, let me be a gentleman and open the door for you. She's a little dirty inside, but look at that thing! Dang, honey! What? I know you uh, don't really care for shift knobs and whatnot but dang look at that thing how many do you have a lot look at that thing sick let's go honey look at this magic getting in here ow dang i'm like a professional it's kind of hot in here all right without further ado we go. let's get going been in this thing in so long. Listen, these, oh, I need gas, but I think we'll be okay for a little bit. Oh <laughs> my god. This Honey. thing is a race car. My hair is tangled when we get there. Oh. Top down, bad hair, don't care. <laughs> Word, if you peel out, you mother Alright guys, well, we will enjoy this drive to this place. We're going to some type, type of brewery. You can't say where we're going. You don't want to be stopped. Well, but we'll anyway, by the time we will enjoy this uh, drive there. Enjoy. I will enjoy the short throw kit. Renegade, job well done. And uh, if this is the end of it, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Keep on driving. Thank you.